Hey, this is Noel with creationeffects.com, and in this quick After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this rough, chiseled, rocky, or metallic text, just like the Lord of the Rings title. This is just one of 200 titles I created for an After Effects template called Creation Title Effects, and there's a cool looking title in that package for every kind of theme, and you can easily edit the text and customize the effects. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check that out, and now let's get on with the tutorial. I've got this textured background here that I'll unhide because uh, it looks cool. And let's just start typing our text. I'll use the text tool, that's Command T. And I don't want to get sued, so I'm going to type Board of the Flings because uh, obviously there's uh, a lot of females that are interested in me and, you know, it gets, it gets kind of boring because I want something deeper and more meaningful. So we can start arranging the letters to look more like our title. Uh, make sure that your character panel is open. If you don't see it, just go to Window and choose Character. And uh, we should bring the letters closer together. And you can do that with this tracking property. And obviously the font size we'll use. If you wanted to break this up into multiple layers, you can get the these words on two different lines, but I'm not going to bother with that. And also this baseline shift property to move letters up or down. And some letters will make a lot bigger than others. And maybe a couple of these letters I'm going to make smaller. And uh, we'll want to change the color. Let's choose a light yellow. Okay, and maybe scale this whole thing up a little bit. All right, the first thing I want to do is add a bevel and emboss, and that's a layer style, not an effect. Um, so if you go to uh, layer, and then in layer styles, you'll see it there. And then down here you can open it up and uh, let's change technique to chisel hard. And the size will increase that a bunch until, until the corner is in the middle. And we've got some properties for the highlights and the shadows. Uh, I might change highlight mode to uh, vivid light. And uh, we can decrease the highlight and the shadow a little bit and uh, let's also change the angle to make it so that the light is coming from the bottom right corner just like in our background so I've got negative 45 for the angle and that looks about right next let's add a turbulent noise effect in my effects and presets panel I'll just start typing turbulent and it shows up here so I'll just drag that in there and let's change the blending mode of the effect to multiply. And increase the contrast to something like 250 and the brightness. We'll, we'll brighten that up to about 40. Complexity, uh, that's fine. And let's bring down the opacity a little bit. Okay, next to, uh, to make it look uh, rough, like there's all these chips and imperfections, we're going to use an effect called Pixel Poly. CC Pixel Poly. And uh, if we play it back, you can see what it does. It shatters it into a bunch of pieces. So let's start turning down some of these properties. Uh, force, gravity, and spinning, all of these can be set to zero. And now you can see nothing happens at all. But let's just focus on the spinning property. I'm going to go forward a few frames and uh, we'll turn this up and you can see how it's starting to break it up. However, we still have that problem that if we play this back, um, the pieces will just keep spinning. So what we can do is just keyframe this property. Um, for that very first frame, we'll go all the way to zero and we'll set this to something like 75 and I'll add a keyframe. And then I'm just going to go forward one frame. So I'll hit the page down button and I'm going to set this value to zero. And if I zoom in now on the timeline, I'll hit the plus key. 
you can see um, it added two keyframes. And if I play this back now, you can see that the, the spinning stopped happening, but we still have that cool chiseled effect. All right, we just need to add a few more effects here really quick. Um, next, we'll do a turbulent displace effect. And you can see this one just warps the effect. We want to decrease the size of the warp a lot. So let's bring that down to 30 and we'll change the complexity. We'll bring it all the way up. Maybe like eight. And then uh, the amount will turn way down. Let's just do uh, six and see what, it might be a little much. Let's do five. And actually, I think this effect should go before pixel poly. It doesn't really make a difference. All right, so <clears throat> you can see what that did. It just made the edges a little less smooth to give us that crude chiseled look. All right, let's keep going. Uh, let's add a bevel alpha effect. And I'll zoom in so we can see it better. If I toggle that on and off, you can see it just adds a, a slight highlight on the edge and a shadow on this side. And I think I'll flip that to match our current lighting. So I'll just bring it down like this. So now the highlight is on this side. You can just barely see it. And then the, it gets a little darker on the very edge on this side. Uh, and lastly, let's just add a drop shadow effect. I'll just do a distance of about 10 and I'll soften it up a little bit. And that might be a little thin. If we wanted to, you could just highlight your text and then in the character panel, hit this bold key to make it a little thicker. That's probably a little closer to the movie title. And that's it. That's pretty close to the actual title graphics of the film, and it didn't even take that much work. Again, check out Creation Title Effects. It has 200 ready-made titles in there. So no matter what kind of video you're making, you'll find an appropriate title in there that you can use. And uh, you can just edit the text to say whatever you want, and you can customize the properties of the title effect with easy-to-use controls. Also, be sure to see what other effects are there on creationeffects.com. There are custom 3D books, auroras, uh, there's custom flocks of birds and insects and fish, VHS effects, old film effects, glitch effects, and much more. So please check it out. Thanks for watching.